how to make a superb 2D varnish effect with a 3D one. Welcome everybody to the MGI Jet Force tutorial series. A special hello to our dear friends, our dear MGI Jet Varnish users. We are so glad to be coming to you from the MGI Paris showroom. Where today we will be showing you how to get a superb flat 2D varnish effect with an MGI Jet Varnish 3D1 that is right behind us. A machine that you might also know as the Konica Minolta Acurio Shine 3600. So before showing by example how to achieve this 2D spot UV effect, what exactly are we talking about, Julian, when we say a 2D varnish? So, Nicholas, a 2D varnish is the effect that can be likened to a traditional spot UV done on a screen printing press. As you can see on this particular application, where we came and applied a beautiful 2D varnish with a nice and even flow, um, what is the thickness of a 2D varnish? Uh, so a 2D varnish can range anywhere from 3 to 15 or even 21 microns. That's typically the thickness range we would consider to be in the 2D varnish range. And this is usually done on what kind of application? Here we see a real estate brochure. Uh, this is an effect that we see pretty frequently in commercial printing. Uh, we see anything ranging from book covers to business cards and just like in this case, brochures as well. It could be a variety of different applications that we see in commercial printing market. So what's crazy, Julian, is that normally the Jet Varnish 3D1 or the Curio Shine 3600 has technical specs that says it can only varnish heights between 21 and 116 microns. Yes, indeed, Nicholas, as you can see right here on the machine's front end system, the range given by the machine is indeed between 21 and 116 microns. That being said, MGI has developed a screening system that will allow us to apply 2D varnish thickness between 3 and 21 microns as I previously explained. That's incredible. There must be some conditions to be able to achieve these effects. Yes, Nicholas. The first condition starts, of course, with the paper or the substrate itself. A matte lamination will be extremely favorable for these kinds of 2D applications. But if you don't want to laminate, you can use a matte coated paper, for example. That will work nicely to achieve a 2D varnish with this kind of equipment. Yes, the matte coated paper contrasts well with the shiny 2D varnish. That will really reinforce the spot UV effect. Effect. Exactly. The spot gloss was really able to pop off the page by combining the matte effects of the paper with the gloss effects of the varnish. Now there's another condition for this to work, and it's this module that you can see on your screen here. Yes, Nicholas, this is the CTS model that allow, module that allows us to corona treat the surface of the sheet, thereby allowing us to change the surface tension of the inks or the paper. Uh, to get a better varnish flow for a high quality impactful 2D effect on your prints. Okay, let's do it. Shall we show our viewers how, uh, how this works? Let's do it. I'll explain everything. Okay, so here we have the JVTI open in front of us here. What are you doing exactly, Julian? So very simply, I will begin by opening the document in the Spot Varnish Editor. Then, I select the zones that I wish to varnish and apply a 2D varnish by using the color application module here. So here you can see we clearly have chosen 3 microns in thickness. I save this sheet and we will now send this document through. Very important, do not forget to check off the special screening mode called dithering. That allows us to screen the varnish file down. So we'll now print the sheet and we'll show you the final result. Voilà, c'est parti pour c'est parti pour l'impression. Alors on va voir maintenant tout de suite le résultat. Okay, let's see how the final result looks. That is a magnificent 2D varnish, Julian.
Yep, there you have it, a 2D varnish done at 3 microns that we just applied to the file that we were just looking at together. And now you have a 2D varnish effect done on a Jet Varnish 3D1 or on a Curio Shine 3600. Merci beaucoup, Julien. Thank you very much, Julian. Uh, Thank you, Nicholas. Voilà, plus, well, voilà. there it is. You now know what you need to do if you want to do a magnificent 2D, 2D varnish using your Jet Varnish 3D1 or Curio Shine 3600. 3600. We will see you very soon in our next MGI Jet Force tutorial sessions. Mm -hmm.